having me this morning. I'm the director of corporate real estate for Black and Beach. We're a global engineering company. Our business lines are um, energy, water, federal services contracts, telecommunications. We have over 100 offices globally, and um, I am in the unique position, like many of you folks, where um, I have to deal with our facilities um, on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, the samples are going to speak for themselves. These are very near and dear to me. Um, you know, a couple of them actually nearly cost me my job. So I do not have a preference on mills. Um, I've worked with many mills. My preference is on performance and specifically fiber. And uh, I, that was not always the case. And, you know, I was a very challenging and difficult end user. Uh, my Starnet dealer can attest to that. Yeah, he's not here. And, uh, but, you know, I just wanted to take you through this journey and kind of see um, how I came to be at this point in my thinking and how fiber became critical to me. If we go back to 2011, personal quote, I could care less about carpet and even less about fiber, and I'll simply replace it when I'm bored with the look. So that shocks many people when I'm um, talking to a group. They're like, well, then why are you here? Um, that's who I used to be, and what's important to note on that is that was based in a place from ignorance and arrogance. And if you look at making decisions in facilities, that is a volatile mix and that it, it, it can have catastrophic results. So what I want to do is I want to take you on a little journey and show you exactly where that mentality took me. We're going to look at the history of the world headquarters, and that's our main building in Kansas City with 600,000 square feet. Ward Parkway and Corporate Woods, those are two career catastrophes for me. We're going to go on a little trip in those two buildings where I have samples you should enjoy. And then we're going to look at the new world headquarters, or where I call it my own personal era of enlightenment. And then I'm going to look at the life cycle cost analysis because for me, like most people, unless you're fortunate enough to be the CEO or own your own business, I'm accountable to a higher authority. So um, they were looking at me intently at that point. This is our world headquarters, and we're in Overland Park, Kansas. 591,135 square feet, uh, pretty long history. The gentleman I report to is the vice president of real estate. The two first installations were well before my time, but these were his babies initially. We put Bigelow, Statutrup, Broadloom, Antron, install in 76, and that would be to the west building, directly to the left. They built it in phases. We had that for 11 years. It was um, very similar um, that a hideous orange that's suddenly become popular again. I'm not sure why. They tired of that and they decided to switch out to a Millican Regency square carpet Antron 87 life cycle time frame, 10 years. And that was when we built the East Building. So we recarpeted when we put the addition on. And then basically at that time, we recarpeted again the entire facility and we put in a Millican Rainbow Tweed Cushion Back Carpet Towel Antron, install 96 on the floor for 17 years. Keep in mind, because there's a whole irony to this, 17 years on the floor under my feet. And um, this is what we uh, basically um, pulled out of our building now. And what's important to know is uh, we had a buyer um, for this through Habitat for Humanity, and now we're tracking. By the time we're finished with this project, um, we'll build um, two homes for families in need in Kansas City just from the proceeds. So at this point, we're contemplating adding on to the building. You know, we're still several years out, and my Starnet dealer wanted to have a conversation. He's like, look, this has performed beautifully for you, but me, being in the mindset where I could care less about carpet and fiber, I was going to take the company on a whole new trip. Not only was I going to save money, but yeah, I, that was in itself going to be fantastic, but I was going to put in great looking carpet. And this is Ward Parkway building, which um, funny enough I call strike one, and so does my boss. Um, <laughs> This is where our water division's located. So we did a complete restack, a complete modernization of this building for 117,000 square feet. I put in Millican Zirconia 66 Trilobal, install 2006, and I actually was able to get six years out of it. I went black and gray, like, where could you go wrong? I'm like, I'm completely covered and safe. Okay, so this is it brand new. This is what it has become. Now, I want you to keep in mind, 
I went so far as to have a post-consumer application installation on this, very similar to a Scotch Guard on this. Millicare, we've cleaned it, maintained this. I started getting coffee stains immediately around the elevator core that I could not get clean. So this is, I, I, when I look at this to this day, it's amazing to me how this carpet is actually transformed. It's, it's stunning. Then, underneath the desk, not even under casters, I've had a complete delamination of the product off of the backing. Um, this was just from general foot traffic under a workstation. This, uh, this defies explanation. I was actually called over by the executive director and went over and was asked, can you explain this? So. That was an uncomfortable conversation. Then I had to go back to the people who I report to, and in my position, I report directly to the Vice President of Real Estate, the Chief Administrative Officer, the CFO, then the CEO. So there's a very short line, but you're walking, you're talking big power hitters above me. So here's me, I'm like, you know, I have to explain now, okay, we have six years out of this, I need to replace the carpet, which I was told, well, you can explain to the division president that they're gonna have to live with that carpet and it was your choice and they have to live with it because you've decided to put this in. So, you know, that was a lesson learned. Um, but you know, uh, at this point in time, I was still committed. If anything, I'm committed to this direction, no matter where it's gonna take me. So I've decided to go down a different road. And this is what I would call strike two, as my boss would call that. This would be corporate woods. And this is our telecommunications building. 96,000 square feet, um, 100 now that we've occupied the entire, and I decided that I was going to put in Interface Panorama 2 Universal Post-Consumer Content Type 66 Nylon. Installed it in 2009-2010. It was a phased restack. The actual life cycle time on this was three years. So didn't think I could do much worse than the other building. No, I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> This brand new, and it was like this urban, it was urban denim it was called. Yeah, it was really cool. I love this. It was great. I was happy. This is what it became very quickly. This one here was under a chair on the fourth floor. Um, started crushing under casters. And as most of you know, that's a big area when you're dealing with it. If, I don't know for you in facilities, I have issues with casters and the carpet starting to crush. This started crushing um, and started crushing um, less than 60 days after installation on a brand new install. And then this was just general staining in the corridors, which I cannot get clean. You have to keep in mind, I have walk off outside, I have walk off inside, you have to go through an elevator lobby, another elevator lobby to get to this. So this is not like you're walking off the street onto this, it's pretty embedded in the building. So one thing I would caution you and what was really disturbing to me with this whole thing was, I thought I was buying Antron. Okay, so I'm like, this is me, I'm like, what? First thing, I'm, I'm mad at Antron. I'm like, what the hell did you just sell me? I mean, why is this failing? So went ahead, had it tested, and it was blended. And then I went back to the original sheet, and make sure you read your contracts, it clearly stated in very, very fine print, like you need cheaters to see it, the mill reserves the right to substitute fiber at their discretion. So make sure whatever you're buying, read that fine print, because this was a hard lesson to learn. Again, I had to go back to my boss and the higher ups and explain to them that we've had another failure, and oh, by the way, we have failure less than 60 days, and they've had to live with this since that time. Now, they're gonna be moving in 2015. There's gonna be a little bit different flooring system in that office building, so. Now we come to the World Headquarters building. At this point, my dealer comes back to me and he goes, are you ready to have a conversation? You have to keep in mind, my dealer kept coming at me through both of these and saying, you know, are, are you ready to have a conversation? And every time I'm like, no, everything you have is inadequate. The fact that this gentleman would come back and talk to me was absolutely amazing because I, at the very least, I was owed and I told you so. But no, he was professional about it. He came back to me and he brought in the big guns, you know, brought in Antron. Um, and we were re I, was re I was ready to have that kind of dialogue at this time because you have to keep in mind, this was strike three 
and 600,000 square feet, that was a big deal. And make no mistake, it was not going to happen in a vacuum, like I was going to be accountable to the executives on making this decision. So this was my last chance. So we began to have a dialogue, and what I, what I learned from that is my dealer asked me basic questions. What are you, what do you need your carpet to do? How are you going to use your carpet? You know, are there areas of concerns? What concerns you about your flooring? Those basic questions that so many people fail to ask. And then I started to reveal, okay, I have concerns on high traffic areas. I have concerns with crushing under casters. You know, I have concerns with staining. I've had staining in elevator lobbies. They began to, you know, first seek to understand what I needed. And then we we're able to build a case for you know, utilizing the Antron and build a case for going to, you know, down this course where I could stand behind it confidently and that I knew the flooring solution was going to perform. So I ended up going with, ultimately, Bentley Mills, Lumina Type 66 cushion back. It was a phased installation, started in 12. Actually, the building will end, in, um, will end later this year. In my life cycle time frame, I wanted 17 years out of this, out of this um, carpet. Now, Bentley was awarded this, and I'll show you what my carpet looks like because I'm proud of it. It was a custom design for me. This is my flooring. Um, pretty timeless. It appeals to most people. Um, it's uh, 1836, installed on the herringbone um, installation method. Everyone loves it. What was critical was, and one of the things I challenged them with is, the west side of the building on the first floor, you had to, I was installed there, went up six floors, come over to the east tower, seven floors, and then down to one. Now, when the first floor was installed, almost a year later, when it matched up, there could not be a difference. I didn't want to see it. It had to look like as good as the first day it went in a year earlier. And they were successful at doing that. Um, I will say, when I put this out to bid, um, there were a lot of hard feelings. Um, you know, I don't know, my architect that we hired, um, very used to controlling carpet, but for me, I took the carpet under my scope because it was critical. I mean, this was my chance. I was not going to trust anyone to just <coughs> procure this and specify this, but I was very specific um, when I put it out in the street. There were no substitutions. I knew what I wanted. I wanted the Lumina. We specified ounce weight, resist tech, the whole thing. Put it out. People were just floored. They could not understand. And to me, I'm like, it, it's not hard to understand. I've decided on my fiber. You know, I want a cushion back. And I put cushion back in for longevity, not for comfort. I, you know, and I put in there, you have to have Antron certification on this. So, you know, that sent everyone into a tailspin. My architect was mad at me. The other mills were mad at me. It was just, I've never seen anything like it over flooring. But that aside, what I've learned is, is that, you know, flooring is that forgotten component of your building. It's the workhorse. But when you look at the life cycle cost we'll get into, it's the single most important component in your building because it costs the most if you have to replace it once you've occupied it. And I've seen beautiful carpets, and Jan loves this comic, so I told my architect, who's shown me all this really great looking stuff, I said, it's a very short trip from flashy to trashy. Everybody will be gone, and then I have to deal with carpet that's falling apart. And I'm not dealing with that, and I'm not putting my neck on the line for that. So. Here's a couple shots of the, um, the installation method. You can't tell, but it has a lot of great movement. Looking in a corridor, this is outside of our board of directors room. Um, just a really great, um, it's a great pattern. Everyone loves it. And you know, you're not going to appeal to everyone, but they either really like it or they're pretty neutral. And to me, in facilities, that's like a huge win. Let's get into the money part. I came to the realization that I cannot afford to buy cheap carpet. Okay? I just, and I had to, and you have to keep in mind, I'm looking at an 800K delta, $800,000 delta for me to put in the Lumina, okay, the whole system. I have to justify this. Now, keep in mind, I'm looking at, I'm at a $69 million job overall. This 
over a million is a very small amount, but nonetheless, that delta is gonna get someone's attention. So I had to figure this out. How was I going to sell this? And my boss turned around, he goes, figure it out, figure it out. You have to sell this. So what I started to do in working with my dealer is, okay, I'm not dealing with apples to apples here. I have the Lumina, and then I have folks who either, number one, could not be certified or could get the certification I required and put in a substitute on the West. So I had to bring everyone up to a level playing field. How you do that? You look at the amount of time, the life cycle of that carpet. And when I looked at early replacement, the early replacement is what did it for me. I mean, you're looking at, I could get eight years as opposed to eight, nine years as opposed to 15, 16 years on that. And then I have to factor in, okay, how much is it gonna cost me to lift that furniture, take that carpet out, put that back in, and that was just systems furniture. I'm not even looking at cafeteria. I had to add in the auditorium, all of the ancillary spaces. I had to factor that in, and that's, stuff I can quantify. You, I cannot even begin to quantify what the soft cost losses are as far as productivity. So when you do this, the cheaper carpet or the carpet that is not the same quality level actually ends up costing you more in the long run. If you don't care about that time frame, then that would be a short-term waste. But for me, this is a long-term proposition, and for me, this carpet had to perform. Ultimately, they had a problem with that, and I clearly stated, I said, I am not putting my neck on the line for an inferior product. Do not ask me, I will not back it up. This can be my strike three, but only this, because I was sure, positive, that this was gonna perform, and I'm telling you, what was it, maybe a month ago, I had the executive director come up to me and said, this carpet's beautiful, it is held up beautifully. I said, thank you, I know. <laughs> you know, we started here, not me, it started here. I had to go through this in order to come back to this. And what's ironic is, is the solution, the answer was under my feet the whole time. I was just so blind to it. And I wasn't receptive to education. I wasn't receptive to hearing this. The takeaway would be is, you know, get the education you need. If you need help quantifying this, if you're sold on this and you need help, you can contact me. I mean, this, this did not take that long. I've justified it to high level people in my company. You know, you just have to know what you want and then be able to sell it and execute it and just know that you're, what you're putting in is gonna be quality and it's gonna last. Well, thank you. <laughs>